President-elect Donald Trump is in the process of selecting his cabinet members. In our legal lens tonight, Fox 2 Jeff Bernthal asks Brown and Crouppen attorney Andrea McNary about why that process is raising legal questions. Andrea, I guess what has been sort of the, the traditional path that presidents have taken when it comes to appointing their cabinet? So traditionally, cabinet members are appointed by the president but have to be confirmed by the Senate. So the confirmation process includes vetting of the nominee's qualifications. Um, sometimes it involves Senate hearings. And this separation of powers serves to um, basically be a check on presidential power and ensuring that only qualified individuals um, serve on key governmental roles such as cabinet positions. And with President-elect Trump, I guess, how has he looked to try to uh, do this in a different way? So he's looking to bypass the traditional way by using what is called the Constitution's Recess Appointment Clause. So what the Recess Appointment Clause does is it allows presidents to appoint uh, or temporarily fill vacancies when the Senate is in recess. So historically, uh, presidents like uh, George W. Bush and Clinton have used this um, rarely, um, but it's it's hardly ever been used for cabinet positions and it, and it hasn't been used at all for over a decade. So reportedly what's happening is Trump is asking his party to voluntarily call a recess before his inauguration, which would basically uh, allow him to install nominees, including cabinet positions, without Senate approval. Um, and so you can see that this is probably gearing up to be a, a huge legal challenge. Yeah, as you look at this, I guess, what are the legal issues at play here? Well, there's a couple things. One, there's just the traditional separation of power that is um, written into our Constitution to kind of be a checks and balances on each branch of government. Another interesting caveat is in 2014, the Supreme Court curtailed the use of recess appointments um, in a case challenging some of the things that President Obama was doing at the time. And the court ruled that the Senate can only be um, that this uh, appointment clause can only be used in a recess for at least 10 days uh, for the appointments to uh, occur. So obviously there is going to be a lot of um, talk about manufacturing and disagreement to one, adjourn the Senate, but then two, to keep it out and have a vote on or a lack of vote on when the adjournment will be over. Um, so undoubtedly this is going to spark some intense political and judicial battles. Helping us uh, navigate our uh, legal issues each week, Andrea McNary with Brown and Crouppen. We appreciate your insight as always. Thank you. You're so welcome. Jeff Bernthal, Fox 2 News.